super quick. Very first complex out of this Physio Evolutions is a med ball, pelvic tilt. Our goal is to have the back of the neck, the T-spine, the low back, all the way down into that lumbar spine, completely flat into the floor. We want to gently, about two inches of travel, lift that tailbone up off. We want to try to separate the low back from the tailbone for about 30 seconds. Make sure we're not trying to go palms up for me. Very good. And second 30 seconds, we're going to try to hold the bottom of a Y-axis lunge position. Establish a good streamline. We want to try to go big, tall, Ferris wheel. And then this cycle, we're going to add a step up position. So sit up tall, bring your trail leg up through, and do that same Ferris wheel up underneath that Z axis, which is your high step up position. Going to alternate that, keep going through for 30 seconds. And then in just one brief moment, we're going to go ahead and go into the wall and we're going to kind of drive the crap out of this ball. And here we go. Smash, smash. Show me good athletic position. And we're gonna go on an alternating stagger. Now, work on your precision. Not only hard, heavy shots, but we wanna try to find a point on that wall. And we wanna smash, replicate it. Or we wanna chase the ball. Smash and replicate, smash and replicate. Go get them. Hard shots, nines, nines, nines. And then you want to take a big deep breath and recompose so that we replicate power and speed. Clear. Rotate over. Quick. Remember, we want to protect that Z axis. This happens just to be a sideline Z axis with rotation. So it needs to look and feel like a step up. If I were to take a picture of you here and then turn it up 90 degrees, it should look like a step up position, like you had a bar on your back. And then you challenge out with a little bit of rotation by reaching up underneath you, reestablish that shoulder girdle. Now let's see those push-ups. Out of a standard push-up position, your feet should be together to start off, correct? Start uh, feet together. Now, out, in, out, crisscross, jump back to your push-up. Beautiful, very good. Out, in, out. Reset that push-up position. Do it without dropping your hips. Very good. Out, in, out. Crisscross back to your push-up position. Beautiful. Here. Now, pick up your head, guys. Tall, pretty posture. The foot needs to be out in front like a step up, not trailing behind you. Make sure your toe is up out in front like you were doing a step up onto a high bench which means the knee and the toe have to be up. Pull your toe up, Geraldine, toe up. There you go. Now don't reach underneath until you establish that tall, pretty posture. There's your babe, here we go. Push up position. Let's get him in, go get it. Out, in, out, crisscross applesauce. Jump back to your push up position. Very good. Now the least amount of hopping as possible. I want those hips to stay low and level and flat. For nine reps, you sprint as hard, as fast as you can go with good precision. Conditioning means nothing if you don't have precision. Conditioning means nothing if you do not have precision. Go get it, go get it. Super fast, super fast, super fast, super fast. Quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quicker, quicker. Rotate. Complex number three. All right, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. We got a stability ball bridge sprint. So we're gonna be supine, palms up, good flat shoulder blades. The hips are up nice and high. We're gonna pull those toes back and we're gonna sprint from the hips for the high hamstring. 30 seconds, we're on magic number nine. So super fast, nines, nines, nines. Once we do that, we're gonna grab that stability ball. We're gonna do a bad form deadlift, which is just a bloomer. We're working on your paraspinal, slowly rolling that up to the tallest, prettiest posture you can possibly exhibit. We're gonna work on the small little tiny musculature that rolls spinous process to spinous process and transverse process to transverse process, slowly correcting any small variations to a tall, pretty posture. Very tiny musculature, but it has to be rolled up. It can't be a good form deadlift. Now from that position, we wanna go super fast. We're gonna go crossover catch, crossover catch, crossover catch, trying to reestablish a perfect athletic position. We've got a slosh ball. These are not your standard stability balls. These things have about 70 pounds of water in them or blood, depending on how much, or beer. 
right, here we go, number four. Go get it. Now I wanna see that hip swivel over top and you try to get back to that athletic protected position, pushing your butt way back, learning how to receive that rotational stress. Most injuries are caused because of an athlete's inability to handle that rotational stress. So really work on in a progressive, progressive environment, challenge your ability to hold and handle rotational stress. All right, out of our vertical hanging position, we're gonna either do vertical pulls for 30 seconds, or we're gonna do scapular depressions if you got a slosh ball up underneath the shirt. Tall, pretty posture, elongate that neck. We wanna take the top of the head out farther. Think of this turtle poking his head out of the shell. When we're done, as long as you're pinching those shoulder blades back and down and trying to demonstrate good posture, you're still kicking back way too far over there, Cosgrove, you gotta go vertical. Got to go vertical. I need shoulder blades. I don't need biceps. I need shoulder blades. Tall, pretty posture, bigger, broader chest. There's your 30 second bait. One perfect squat. Drive and receive that. Drive those hips back. Drive and receive. Drive and receive. Push those hips, guys. Drive your hips back. There's your bait. Walk it in. And 30 seconds, single dumbbell, contralateral, scabbard cleans. All it is is a cross-handed clean, cross-handed clean. Very good. Try to receive that in a good athletic position, low and level. Here we go. Go get him, guys. Go get him. Let me see your left. Let me see your left. And thumb goes back. Big jump. Pull it back and across. Receiving in a good squat. Jerk overhead. Receive it back in. And dive over top. Clear. Very good, very good. Good, tall, pretty posture. Think about lifting your sternum. We're looking for a retracted and depressed shoulder girdle. A retracted and depressed shoulder girdle for 30 seconds. As uncomfortable as you may be, work on your form, work on your technique. 30 seconds, let's move them on, let's go. Let's get them in guys, let's go, let's go. Horizontal pulls. Now, keep those shoulder blades depressed, the same exact musculature you just used. Now we're gonna add retraction. So we're gonna pinch those shoulder blades together. Geraldine, where's your head supposed to be? Lay your head back, look up at the ceiling, very good. Now, pull those shoulder blades together. Very good, that's much better. Drive those shoulder blades together underneath you. Drive them together underneath you. Very good. 30 seconds, get outside, med ball, lunge jumps. 60 seconds worth of med ball, alternating rotational lunge jumps. There it is, go up for a rebound, big vertical jump. Go for a rebound, get up there, jump high. Be powerful, jump high. You got a terrible check mark in your hip, let's go. Lengthen that out for me, Cosgrove, lengthen that out, stretch. Stretch, there's your babe. Gonna jump up and switch feet. Beautiful, now don't move, jump up and go back. Now we're gonna go to the right, jump up, turn the right, beautiful, jump up, turn the left. Those are your crossovers, beautiful job. Don't do less submaximal jumps. One perfect jump, as high as you can, go for a block. And then you pause, and then you go for another block, and then you pause. Very good, very good, Mayor. Very good, nice job, Geraldine. Make sure we receive in a good athletic position. Drop those hips. So, out, in, up, down. Very good, very good, good group. Way to get back in there, guys. Very good, stay in there, breathe. 30 seconds. We're gonna backpedal 10 yards. We're gonna dive and drive for five. And then you're gonna backpedal for 10 yards. You're gonna drive and drive for five. We have four of those on that last one. We're gonna backwards run all the way down. And we're gonna attack a forward sprint. Go hard, go aggressive. Hey, good backpedal. Let's go, dig, dig, dig. Now attack it, Cosgrove. It's a backwards run, reach, reach, reach. Run, sprint, 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 sprint past me. Sprint past me, finish strong. Great workout for you, great job guys.